previously on I Saw Black Clouds. If I was a patient here, I just wanted to see it for myself. Well, this place has been closed more than 20 years. We found it. I think we're here. Charlotte? Charlotte? Charlotte! What are you doing? Come on, Charlotte, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't need to care. Hold on, Charlotte. That's not really what? how it happened. In your case, real. guilt over Charlotte. Pursuing you in a different form. Now, should we try again? About to beat this game. I'm, I'm about, about to beat, beat this, this game. game. Hey, yo, fam, I need you. And I'm not going to ask you to strike a pose on the like button. You already know that. You've done that already. I appreciate you. This is going to be the only video on YouTube right now that has all four endings in one game. That brings along the skippers, the people it's just gonna skip through to the end. I need you guys to take a shower, maybe go cook some dinner, wash your car. Let this video play, cause you're gonna kill my watch time. And I know you care about that, cause you watch all my videos, right? It's fundamentally important that I mentioned it's gonna take me about five hours to do this. Make a choice. Marriage consists of entrusting ourselves into the deepest care of another. It is a Dr. sacred trust. Marenke. Today is no. also an opportunity for us to not only share wish it was you. in the joy of Emily nah. and Sam's love, ah, Sammy. but to also remember I don't think so. and appreciate the joy, <laughs> love, and friendship <laughs> that we experience in our own lives. That's more importantly, it is a journey that they will take together. It's Emily and Sam. We didn't meet Sam in this playthrough. That was a whole nother set. If you want me to play that way, let me know in the comments. It's a whole different style of game. Much scarier, by the way. Hey, hey, hey. Happy times, hey. Uh, 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 uh. Running on a beat and another sweep. And I'm about to be this game. Now. Four times. Blow your mind. I'll show you things you could not dream. Hey, 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 hey. Just open the door and let me in. Hey, 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 I hope this song ain't copyright and writing on the beat and then nothing sweet. But then watch me and this playthrough and you play through. Don't play with me because I will click delete. Woo -hoo! Watch young boy, he's spiking drinks. Who is that up in the mink? Oh, by the way, we did not see her. That's the girl in the, in the photo, but we never saw her before. Okay, so anyways, back to more serious territory. That other girl was a girl that we didn't see in this playthrough. Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, doing all right. Yes, I'm So two of those people we just saw, we didn't see in this playthrough. Again, let me know in the comments if you want to see that playthrough. And I got you. You know what, watch those guys that your friends are talking to. I've had their boy creeps. She did a drunk swagger, hey. You, you know what? You might be right. <clears throat> what are we so celebrating? Much. They're wondering why we want to go on some rock flights. No! Ha <laughs> ha! We're not going there. Oh, come on. I think so bored. Nothing interesting seems to happen. No, we're not going. I don't know. Let's just go and get a drink. Go get a late drink, eh? Are you sure about this? Yes. yes. What, 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 Everything! Oh, <laughs> Ooh. Oh, 
What is this? <laughs> mm. We didn't see her in this playthrough, but she was a very important character in the other playthrough. Uh oh. What is going on? Oh, this is my song and a ride along, and we do not know what's taking long. Where are we? Oh, look at this guy. Again, another person we didn't meet in this walkthrough. Hey, where are we, yo? Ladies, be careful. I'm telling you. Happened that fast. I never even seen old dude before. Hi. Why did you say we were coming again? We needed that. Only a few more minutes. Let's see. We're doing the stop the car method. Yeah, we're about to stop this car. We ain't with this. You know what? I think I'm getting out. <laughs> Can you stop the car? Stop the car, yo. Jack, I said I'm getting out! Sit down, you- Kick them heels off, homegirl. Get the running. Get up out of here. Where are you going? Where are we going now? Oh my. That hammer, why did they do that? Go to the building. Go to the building. That's one of those points where it seems like no matter what we do. There's Charlotte. Looking real rough. What happened, y'all? Priest. Well, who is that? I think. That one. You don't even know these characters. Are you sure? She looks like she'd come more fighting her. Can't take both. Let us go. You. You need to let us go now. <laughs> We're going to take one of you with us. So who's it going to be? We're going the aggressive route. Anywhere. 
It has to be one of you. Uh oh. Don't go. You have to get us out of this. Better keep quiet. <laughs> that one. No! Oh, Charlotte, oh my out. god. It just, they just cutting her free, bro. It's going to be okay. You having a full blown panic attack. They just cutting her free. I guess. Look around. Calm down. Look around. This is the number one rule of survival. Bar. Get this metal bar. Oh my god, with the music! So, by the way, did anybody notice that Emily was getting married? So, is she alive or what? I'm not sure. Come on, get on out of here. All right, we out of here. Too much waiting, hesitating. Let's go, let's go. She just walking. Okay, so we had this. Uh oh. It's upstairs. Like always, everything's always upstairs. Listen, get your friend. What are they doing? We're going up the stairs, homie. We're about to save our friend. Come on now. We ain't ran a whole one time in the story. Not one time. That's what? not really how it happened. Is it, Christina? What? What is... What? What just happened? Come on, Chief. So I'm supposed to leave her? Doesn't make any sense. All right, leave her. We out of here. Dang. What? Front door just opened, just like that. Bro, so much suspense. I don't understand. I was supposed to just leave her?
I'm supposed to just leave my friend, bounce on her. So I'm just sitting here like a train wreck, waltzing down the road in a bright yellow dress. Bro, this makes no sense. Three, two, one. And I don't understand them close-ups, by the way. Christina, you're back. Sure. Can somebody tell me what this... This close-up has to do with the story? Please, I, I'm so lost. I really don't know what the, those... Super oversized close-ups have to do with the story. Hi, Christine, you're quite safe. No, no, I couldn't have, I couldn't have left her. What else could you have done? I could have saved her. I should have stopped it. I should have gone up the stairs. She must have known. Do you really think that in her last moment she expected you to come and save her? She must have been resigned to her fate, accepting of it even. I don't know what she would have thought. Mm. No, but you knew her. Do you really think she would want you to carry around all this all your life? You've done so well today. This is a real breakthrough. It's taken us days to get this far. I bet. You should be feeling very proud of yourself. I just can't believe she's really... Dead? Well... It's the body, Christina. Not the life. It's wise words. I'll give them that. So basically, Emily's actually alive, but Charlotte's dead. Like this story took a whole cinnamon twist on us. Like, I'm not sure what, bro. Hi, Christina, it's Emily. Hi, Emily, it's Emily. I know you don't want to talk at the moment, but I wanted to let you know I'm thinking of you. I know everything that's happened has been difficult. And I think you've got a long way to go in your therapy. Having a trauma like that can make you deny reality. And see your deeper feelings turn into monsters. The world isn't all like that. But I can understand why you'd feel that way. I guess she's at Charlotte's grave right now. Putting these flowers down. I wish they would cut to the heads to the tombstone. So apparently, Emily's actually alive and Charlotte was the one that died the whole time. I think you got through this because you think of yourself first. Maybe it's just because you get scared. I don't know. This is definitely not the good ending, trust me. I wouldn't say yeah. it's selfish, as I know that underneath you do care about your friends. But sometimes you just, you don't always let it show. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. That's ending number one. Let me know in the comments how you feel about that. I think we got here pretty quickly, but now. It's time for us to get up in here. And 
Knockout, ending number two. Oh, Christina, we found Charlotte. it. I've had a it's few the drinks. Second so one. Forgive me if this is total nonsense when you wake up in the morning and hear it. It's the second ending. I just can't believe she's gone sometimes. I don't know if you feel like this. Sometimes I think drinking will make me forget, but it has the opposite effect. And I just feel like everything that's happened since has been some sort of twisted nightmare, and you're the only one that can understand. Anyway, call me back and. Talk about it. Bye. I can't help feeling that there's more to yeah. than we know. We should go back and try and figure okay. out what really happened. Okay. So this is the. For Emily. This sake. is the really bad ending. It just felt like there was. It something feels like there's bad. something we missed. So this. Anyway, I know she'd be proud of what we did. Bingo. Maybe. I'll speak to you soon. Okay. Okay. Bye. So this is the really bad ending, basically. Is that you let me down, Christine? Sorry, Emily. There was so much more for you to find out. I'll be waiting. It's crazy. Okay, so in case you have not figured it out yet, here's the real story. Ooh. So what really happened is that Charlotte is actually the one that died. Emily is actually alive, and we're pretending that the roles are reversed for whatever reason, but we're gonna work our way through this. That is the worst ending possible. You're gonna get the whole game out of me. There's two paths. There's the ghost path, and there is the masked man path. We're about to take the whole masked man path, see where this goes. So now we're going for the third ending, which is gonna be the denial ending. We've pretty much done everything wrong. That's how you have to do everything to get your denial up. But we're gonna go through the complete opposite story, the masked man story, instead of the ghost story. So let's get it. This is the crucial point. Now that I've done everything wrong up until this point, it's gonna split our path after we leave the nurse's office. If you want more information about your friend and her treatment, you should go and see Alexander. He was heavily involved at the okay. clinic because of his medical background. I'll give you his address. See, now we're on a completely different path. Because remember, Alexander was the one that told us all about the whole thing with Agnes and all that, and now it's different. Now we're about to watch these couch moments. See, before she didn't have to fill out a password or anything like that. New path, new day, baby, new game, game on. See? I'm gonna keep walking, keep on stepping. About to hide. We know somebody there. This guy. Looking for me? Ooh. Aggressive with it. Um, no, no. I was just, uh... Just... What? Just, uh... Looked like you were. But... It looked like you were. What do you want? But... I was, uh... I, I was friends with Emily. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's your name? My name. My, my name's... <clears throat> Jack. Remember, this is Jack. Jack married Emily in the last story. Jack. Mm -hmm. She never mentioned to Jack. Well, we, we were friends at the clinic. Oh. But it didn't happen. Because she's dead. Well, why didn't you say? Um. 
So yeah, they were they got married in real life, but because she's imagining that Emily is dead instead of her so, friend. How do you know Emily? Well, uh, we first met in the clinic. <laughs> I'd uh, never really met her before that, but um, but she was so warm, you know. Never judged anybody. No. This, this man. So these, these red dots symbolize all the girls who have gone missing in the area in the last 15 years or so. Okay, so? So? Look at the pattern, they all go in a circle. And look what's here in the middle. Huh? It's, it's us, right in the centre. Whoever is doing this is hunting from inside the village. Anything else? What you got for me, Jack? Tell me something else, bro. Well, have you got anything else? Yeah. There's been sightings of a man in a mask chasing girls through the woods at night. Bro, that's stupid. <laughs> um, um, thank you for the. Oh, we didn't scare little Jack Jack off. Let me know sometime if you uh, want to talk about what really happened, uh, okay? Uh, Jack. It's crazy. <sighs> so this is brand new territory. I don't even know. Okay, this is where Emily. If you're disruptive again like that, you will be suspended. Was supposed to work. I have nothing to do with me. I don't know why I'm always one who's getting told off. I don't want to see you in my office again. If I do, I'm gonna get very, very cross with you. Remember, that's one of the guys that kidnapped us before. <laughs> Ah, all girls to see me. Headmaster? William. Remember, that's Please. one of the guys that kidnapped us before. Now in this new life, he's a headmaster of some sort. Dude, this is crazy. Like, we do really understand what's going on. I understand you wanted to discuss Emily. Yeah, Emily's deaf. I'm sure you can appreciate this all came as... Quite a shock to us. Yes, quite out of the blue. A terrible shock for the school and all the pupils in Emily's classes. Challenge. You don't seem very bothered that a member of your staff took their own life. I was a headmaster, not Ooh. a psychiatrist. <laughs> Besides, Ooh. where were you? Got him. You were her friends. Now what? I think we're all getting a bit emotional here. Maybe we should go. That went nowhere. What an absolute Hey! Freak. hey. Don't know how she could have put up with him. Well, she probably had to. You know she couldn't be too far from home. That job must have been hell for Emily. Yeah. Oh God, I hate those things. So morbid. Crazy. Huh. What are the chances, huh? Oh my god, look! Bro, look! It's right there! It's right there! Yeah. See, this is the path of denial. She's dead, bro! This is crazy! And we're going through this whole extra loop. Imagining somebody else died instead of her. I wonder why she picked somebody else in her head to have died instead of the person that actually died. I mean, was she just better friends with Charlotte instead of Emily? I don't really understand it. But that's crazy.
So this is a scene from our previous playthrough. For some reason, she's rolling up to this dude's house. We've been here before in the old one. Oh, no, nah, I know, because she's trying to find out about Emily's death. So now we're back here trying to figure out more clues about Emily's death. No, I'm sorry for Hello. yawning, y'all. It's Alexander? like three in the morning. Yes, what do you want? Hey. I believe I met a colleague of yours today, Dominique. She mentioned to me that you worked at the mm -hmm. clinic. I was hoping I could ask you some questions. Very well. Come in. Thank you. Dominique. So that was the psychiatrist's name was Dominique, the woman we spoke to before. This is my friend Emily. She passed away recently. Yes. I was at the clinic when your friend was there, but purely in an advisory capacity. I uh, couldn't comment on her treatment. Advisory, hey? Advisory at the clinic? Yes, I retired as a surgeon many years ago, but I would be called back to advise the psychiatric team from time to time. Hey, who this? Who's in this photo? What does advisory at the clinic I mean? I found this photo amongst my friend's belongings. Do you recognize her? No. No, I have no idea, sorry. We out of here. It's been very nice to meet you. I do hope we'll meet again. I have very few people round since my wife died. Ignore. Oh, he looks so sad, bro. Oh, some years ago now. and Well, she died of an inherited condition. One can only hope that there will be medical advancements in that field one day. Anyway, it's been lovely to meet you. It's crazy. Remember now, this is the therapist that's trying to work us through Charlotte's death. So now we're back where we started in our second playthrough. Check that out if you haven't. You shouldn't even, you probably not made it this far if you haven't checked that out already. But now we're back at the school. Still kind of in shabby condition. Not too much has changed. Remember, we're on a different path now. We're not believing in no ghost. Because we told the psychiatrist we don't believe Hello? in ghosts. And that changed everything. Anybody here? Back upstairs with it. Straight ahead. Always going straight ahead. Left door. There's nothing on the right. There's never anything on the right. Just so you know. Any game you play, there's nothing ever on the right. I think they do that on purpose because so many people are left-handed. I mean, so many people are right-handed. So they just always make the right by default absolutely nothing. Let's go. Bro, 
Bro, it's getting so tense, man. You hear this music? Remember the last time we heard like those violins when we were here? We out of here. Oh! I don't have time for it. I don't have time. Okay, now we're hearing those violins again. It's getting so oh my god. What is this? Who is this goon? Oh my goodness, bro. We about to look. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, stop! Oh! You let me down, Christina. So that's what happens when you look this time around. This ain't no ghost. Last time we looked at the ghost and ran straight towards it. This ain't a ghost, baby. This is gonna hurt you. Gotta stay hidden on this one. This a real guy. Really not playing. I think he just walked towards our exit. We gotta get out of here somehow. Come on, don't run up on them. We already seen us get clapped, so we clearly not running up on them. That's right, we out of here. Oh my God, he's in pursuit. Bro, what are you doing? All right, we out of here. Just like last time, left. I didn't get options the last time. That's right. Out of here, just like last time. And wow, back in the suit's arms. You shouldn't be here. This is a close sight. We ain't about to say nothing. Remember this chummy old guy? And what do you think you were doing, wandering about like that? If I was a patient here, I just wanted to see it for myself. I don't think so. Well, this place has been closed more than 20 years. No, she was here two years mm -hmm. ago. They moved all the mental stuff to some other place. All right. Now it makes sense that's part of the denial. Like your friend was here two, two years ago. That doesn't make sense because this place is closed. So suppose I told you I believed you about the man in the mask. Have you seen it? I told you it was real. Um, I know that there was a girl who survived an attack from him.
And where was this? Uh, about 15 miles from here. Yeah, her, her family were camping at the site in the woods, and um, one night she saw a man mm -hmm. in a mask in, uh, in the bushes. She told her parents, obviously, but they thought she was imagining things, of course. Did anything happen to her? Uh, yeah, what? he knocked her out and tried to inject something into her neck. Ooh. And was this the only sighting? Two years after that, there was a sighting of a, a man in a mask taking photos of a girl at a holiday park about eight miles from there. How well do you know Dominique from the clinic? <clears throat> um, uh, a bit. Why? Hmm. I want to play this video, but it's password protected. Oh, okay. I see you thinking. Uh, how am I supposed to know that? Think about the holidays, the good old times. Where did she like to go on holiday? Well, she, she did go on holiday to Switzerland one time, if I remember correctly. Um, maybe something else. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, she was, um, she was a big fan of Gung. Gung. Gung? Gung? Yeah, you know, like the, uh, the psychiatrist guy from, from Switzerland. Jung. Carl Jung. Yeah, that's what I said, Jung. <laughs> anyway, um... She used to have a picture of him on the wall and she'd always say, Young says this about your subconscious mind, blah, blah, blah. Oh my gosh, she was giving him that face. Like, dude, I'm too cool to be hanging around you. What is it anyway? Uh-oh. Secrets. See, in this story, she plays a much bigger part. We got secrets now. Tell me more about those feelings. About the anger. Remember, this was the girl at the club before. I want to make them pay for the way they've made me feel. I want to hurt them for what they've done. Oh, you dark, dark. Who's right. This girl. Her name's Sarah. She's what is vile. vile? She was such a bitch Ooh. to me when she found out I'd been in the clinic. What is vile? Tell me more about that. I want to cut them down. See them begging for mercy. Until they admit how beautiful. <coughs> Bless me. Thank you. That emotion is very powerful. Sir. Yes, Sarah. And you must remember that your power can make you whole. By exercising control over people, you can heal yourself of all your problems. I already did that. When was this? Three months ago. No. There was a girl who came under my control. I wanted to make what? it last. She sound crazy. But she went too quickly. <laughs> I can still what? hear her. You are a psychopath. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And the thing that will make you laugh the most is that she works what? as a vet. <laughs> Imagine her looking right, at Right, that does not dog. sound like a good move. Let's go find this chick. We out of here. Except you could go ahead and say where you at, Jack. I don't need you for this ride. Man, it's just a whole new life. 
She must Excuse be from me. America. Look at her. Look how she looking. Oh, does a Sarah work here? Uh, yes. she clearly from America. That's how we be at our jobs. We be on our phones. Like, hold on, man. I got a customer. See, oh. that's the girl from the club. Hi. She reimagined her in a different life. Let me guess. King Charles. Er. Huh, bruh? <laughs> you look like a dog person. I'm usually spot on guessing people's pets. Look at the evil. You can see the evil in her eyes. Look at her. The way she look at her. Right. I actually just wanted to know if you knew a friend of mine. She passed away recently. Oh, yeah. Oh! Well, I'd better make sure we're not interrupted then. So, who was she? She's a teacher. She was a teacher at the school. Ah, oh, yes. Wasn't she the one who killed herself? Close your mouth. I don't really want to go into those details with you. She hung us Oh my she? goodness. So which do you think it was? Let's fix it. What? Here. Oh, broke oh my goodness! We about to square up. We gotta get out of here. You don't look like a fighter as tough as you are. <laughs> nice hiding spot. She got some yellow nails. Did you see that? There had better be a good reason why right. this door was locked. Sarah, why don't you take your lunch while I deal with this customer? Yes, yeah, Sarah. I do apologize for my colleague. She has been going through a tough time recently. With what? How may I help you? Actually, I was here to see Sarah. She's been seeing the same psychiatrist as a friend of mine who passed away recently. Sarah has mentioned that she was seeing someone, a counselor of sorts. Has she been seeing anyone else? Only a tutor from med school. She's retraining in human anatomy, apparently. I don't know really the details. That don't sound normal. Do you know what her tutor's name is? William, I believe. She calls him a tutor, but I'm not convinced. I bet you're Thank not. Thank you for your help. Um, Me either. No problem at all. Bro, that got real hectic real quick. But remember, that was the girl from the club. In this imaginary world of hers, she imagined her just as, I don't know, a random evil person instead of the real evil person that kidnapped her. Who is this at our door? This is the first time we've actually been in her house, though, so that's kind of cool. All right, all right. Uh oh. What do you think you're doing going around accusing people of all sorts? I don't know who's been feeling your head rubbish. With rubbish, but it has to stop. Stay on my ground. I will do what I want. What do you think you're doing? What? I want this photo so I can pass it on. If you keep causing trouble around here. That's crazy. Fuck off. This dude. How did you know where you were what? No what idea. just happened? Somehow I'm not surprised. I've felt that someone's been watching me. Maybe we should pay him a visit. 
you know, return the favor. You know where he lives? He looks like that guy that know where everybody lives. Look at him. He probably know where you live, too. He definitely knows where everybody lives, bro. He been following people for a minute. Just through here. <laughs> a technologically advanced gate. This dude just... Pretty sure, pretty sure we right back where we were with Charlotte. Well, this isn't especially. Oh no, this is a whole different. Monster. Yeah, I wonder where I got his money from. It's a whole different house, I think. Oh my God, bro! Look at them. They're like little spies. I think he's going. I feel like they're in one of those small towns where everybody should know where everybody lives anyways. Like you wouldn't see a house that big. Yep, just let me just should maybe try and find an open window. This dude. This dude. <laughs> what? Or yeah. You can do that in dreamland. That's crazy, bro. Like, everything is just starting to make so much sense now. Look at all this extra heroic stuff they're doing. Oh, I'm going to just sneak in this dude's house break a window like you wouldn't do all this in reality we should probably check upstairs i guess we don't really know what we're looking for it must be something here could be anything Gotta keep that energy up, baby boy. Look at this guy. Born for espionage, clearly. Back corridor on him. Only because I never had a back corridor option before. Uh oh. Which one, guys? Which one? Let's go to the right one. Bust the right on them. All right. Yeah. Change the hat, change the energy. Sorry for yawning in some of these segments, bro. I've been at this all day. Every video, I've released three of these videos. These are all shot today, by the way. One day, three videos, four endings. Back at it. Bro, I was looking away when that happened, man. But now we see, you see? We in the house of the mask, man. We gotta get up out of here, chief. Oh, oh my God, bro, Jack. Look. We should get out Yeah, we here. should. Good idea, Jack. I need to tell Alexandra about this. What? Why? Well, maybe he knows something. You can't tell him. Why not? Because, because, because we just broke into that guy's house, that's why. So? But, 
Fine, you tell him. But maybe it's best if I don't come with oh, you. Oh, you out of here, Jack? Fine, I'll call you later. Okay. <laughs> what you about to Bye. go do, Jack? You about to go hide behind some trees? Where is this dude even live? Bro. Alexander, I really need to... Sometimes. What's up? You trying to get a game going? If you're still watching... Yes, but I don't Drop have time the word chess right in the oh, chat, bro. Just the one That's game. my real AO fam. I said really get the chance to play anything. If you're really games. watching, drop the word chess in the chat. Okay, but I do really need to tell you about... You really are in a rush, aren't you, Christina? Yes, it's just because I found... Mm-mm. It's just I'm I'm worried about William. Emily's headmaster. Oh, he's a good man. In fact, I organized a fundraising for his school. Yeah, last year. Well, I don't think he is who he appears to be. Really? I think they had something to do with why yeah. Emily died. He a kid lapper. Look, I'm so sorry, Christina. I, but I do know just how the death of someone close to you can be a terrible shock, but that really is a bit far-fetched. I need your help, Chief. Help me out, bro. No, I really don't think so. You need to trust me. And I was hoping with perhaps your status that you'd be able to know what to do. Does anybody else think the way you do? Jack does. Yes. Jack, the boy from the village. Oh, Jack, yes. Yes, I know Jack from his time at the clinic. He's a, he's a kindly boy, but a bit of a fantasist. I'm sure You're he makes stories talker. about me all the time. You do know that it's quite common for a patient to construct an elaborate fantasy, whereby the people who are caring for them... She's a evil. patient, bro. Or he's talking about Can I her. use your bathroom? Yes, yes, of course. It's through the door up the stairs. Thank you. You won't beat me, you know. You're talking about chess. Just remember, this is all made up by her. That's why everybody's denying, denying, like, no, that's normal human nature. But they're especially adamant about it because this is all some stuff you making up, homegirl. You the crazy one. This is so... Dude, this is crazy. She's making all this up. But if you notice one thing, look, this is the house from the from the castle from the Agnes story. All the corridors, all that. That's where the prince guy and the other girl was. This is crazy. You a master snooper, girl. You a master at your craft. Social comments? Mm. Why would you keep these at home? Oh, uh, we about to find some secrets. We got that secret noise going on. Let's go with the bonus rounds. What on earth do you think you're doing here? She might not have been on her own. I told you they were asking questions. We should have done what? this sooner. I bought everything that we need. Well, make sure you don't get the dosage wrong. I don't want her damaged. Uh oh. Like the last one. Where is she anyway? Upstairs. We'll wait here. Christina. Uh -oh. That does not sound good. It's Christina. tense time, baby. Could you come down? Don't do it. Backstairs. 
Get the dash on them. Let's <laughs> right, sprint. Let's go. Sprint out of here. She's trying to get out. Oh my god, you ain't gonna never catch me. That's right. You already know you spotted. Dude, they was about to take me out. It is so dark. Sis, I really need to tell you something. I'm in a bad situation and I really need your help. Christina, I know it's been hard after she died, but we are here for you. No, you don't understand. I'm in trouble. No, please come help me. Look, I'm sorry, Chris. I can't talk about this now. Who was that? Was that Charlotte? Or was that Emily? I think that was Charlotte. Please don't hang up. I was what? Christina. What? She ain't even on the call screen. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? I want to know what happened to my friend. <laughs> what? <laughs> Charlotte? The answers you want are at the clinic. Bro. This is a journey you have to take on your own. Please don't hurt her. Oh my god. What is going on? Sweet, sweet fantasy. Do you just notice how everything else is so catastrophized in this version? Like everything else is so much more dramatic. It's the Orchard Clinic, we here, baby. Night style. So same place we were at before in our previous playthrough with Charlotte. Now we back. For what? I don't know. Please don't be a jump scare. <gasps> it's Jack! Should've came with me, Jack. Should have came with me. Oh, you all on your own. We don't have Jack. We don't have Charlotte. It's crazy. Oh. These locked doors, bro. Stop closing them doors on us like that. around downstairs look upstairs downstairs on them remember this is where we were at with Charlotte except different circumstances before we were being haunted by the ghost of Agnes Back upstairs on them. That's where it always goes down is upstairs. Why does it always go down on the second floor here? Bro, this music. Killer. They trying to heart attack me out, out here. Oh, 
It makes so much sense now. Go downstairs. Hello? It makes so much sense now. When we looked at the files in the last playthrough, her name was in the files because she's a freaking patient. Because she's loony, bro. That's why she's a patient at the Charlotte. clinic. Charlotte, where are you? Charlotte? Bro, this music though. Charlotte? Charlotte, if you're there, bloody come out! It all makes so much sense now. Get ready for the jump scare of your life. You see it coming. You know it's coming. Why is she walking like that? What? Bro, heart monitor time. This music just got so serene. I'm going to need them to stop slamming doors like that, though. <clears throat> now, remember, this is where Charlotte was located last time. No, it wasn't. We went down that spiral staircase. Unless they're cutting all that out. Yeah, they did. Because before, she was at the bottom of that spiral staircase. Uh-oh. See, whole different room now. But it's so light outside. Like, how long have we been in this house? You saw that? Oh! Charlotte! Oh, my goodness. How did I not see that coming? Wake up. Christina. Bro, this language. Y'all got some potty mouths. Christina. Bro, what just happened? Christina. What happened? Shh, keep your voice down. So this is the real. There's a reason we keep meeting right here. This is really what happened. They were really just kidnapped out the blue. No matter what. It's no good, I've tried. Stay solid. Bro, this is crazy. Now, we were just here earlier in the video. As you can see, instead of seeing Jack and the other girl, we just see these two now. I very much regret it's come to this. You need to let us go. I'm afraid that will be possible. We need to get a move on. They'll be here soon. We should take that one first. No. I think she'd be the better choice. Going aggressive with it. <laughs> what was that look for? Oh my goodness, it's her. You see how different she is now? Why not make them choose? <laughs> Excellent idea. Which of you will it be? <laughs> not going anywhere. Well, we're going to take one of you with us. So who's it going to be? It all makes sense now. Take me. It's okay. Take me. Charlotte, no! 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 The, Charlotte, no! 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 Don't! Charlotte, no! What? What? At least you'll find out the truth now. Oh, 
Why is she wearing that Take her cosplay get uniform? Ready. I'll be up soon. I know you feel bad about this now, but it really is for the greater good. The greater good? How is this good? Your friend will say, Bro, what are fly. they doing? They selling body parts? A living. Oh my girl. goodness. There are so many in need. Oh, like hell, you care about people. This is just a lucrative business for you. Well, yes, that's true. The body is worth a surprising amount of money. <laughs> this is how many died. No. Now, unfortunately, Emily took too close an interest in our activities here. Not wanting to end her life like this, uh, she chose a different way. What different way is that? Oh! You bastard! How can you live with yourself? I told you I always win. That game of checkers or chess is about to be real deep, huh? Why did they choose? I don't understand. They just choose random girls to be living organ donors? I don't think it worked like that, Chief. <laughs> Let's go. Emancipation. We almost out of here. Break loose. Let's go. In this sweet fantasy of ours. Living in this fantasy world. It's so crazy. She's making all this up, bro. We're just along for the ride. Let's see how it goes. There's about to be some straight superhero action going on. That's the cover photo right there. Find a weapon. Don't worry. Oh my god, it's music. Come on now. Why? Is this necessary? Oh, this is to find a weapon? Ooh, got some drums going. Okay, we weaponed up all the times in the other one. See, it's just that fantasy, that superhero. All the times in the other one, she should have had a weapon. Little bitch. Oh my goodness! Fuck! Got him. Come on, Charlotte. Charlotte, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Charlotte. We out of here. Charlotte. Superhero time. Put your cape on. Supposed to be one. We don't know anything about a second bill. 
Back to Charlotte. What? Who are they dealing with? Who are these cats? Uh oh. They got goons up here. What is this goon story? That's what I'm saying, bro. Look at this superhero. None of these guys ever appeared before. They got extra characters in this one. What is this about? Now there's a fire starting over that little cigarette. What is it, 1940s? Cigarettes are fireproof by now, by the way. Oh my goodness. We're going for it. Let's We're go going full here. superhero mode on them. Knock him out. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh! What? Fight! Let me take control of Bro. Oh my goodness. How did he lose his grip? Pack it in. Pack it in. Calm down. Stay here. Did he say pack it in? What does that mean? Face on him. My bad. Get out of there. We're going to Charlotte. Forget the other guy. They just skipped the whole scene. Now the house burning down, bro. Go left. We're out of here. Never go right. Never. Oh my god, look how dramatic. Dude, those special effects though. Never go right. We out. We won. I guess we solved the crime here. So this is what she would want it to have happened. The black clouds, man. The black clouds. I feel like that's the sign of where you know you're making the wrong moves. Encourage. Come on, baby girl. Except this time, we make it out with Charlotte. That's a job well done. champion making it through but yet you see she's still tense and stressed why because that never happened see there she is there's Emily 
She's haunted by the ghost of Emily. That was Emily. Remember, ghosts are like the representation of things we never finished. So this is ending number three, player. It says we saw all four endings. I don't remember doing that. But I'm about to unlock the fourth ending. By now, we've seen almost everything in the game. Except clearly we've missed 121 scenes somehow. I'm not that big of a fanatic to find the missing 121 scenes, but now we're going for full clarity. This is the point of the game. I figured it out is acceptance is the point of the game. And now we're going for the acceptance ending. We good to go. Low denial, high acceptance, key to the game. All right, we've been recording for two hours, 36 minutes. Look at the stats. We are at 100% acceptance. That's where you need to be to unlock the fourth ending, the good ending, the best ending, and possibly really the easiest you. ending to get to. You did what she would want you to do. You got away, alive. If she were here now, she would tell you simply to live your life, free of all this guilt. Acceptance. There you go. Acceptance is the name of the game. I just can't believe she's really this is the real story dead well it's the body christina not the life so literally her and her friend went out to get a drink got kidnapped they killed her friend it's crazy and here she is emily never died emily got married emily's al alive and happy Jack never existed. The evil nurse never existed. That was all made up. It was just one really bad night. Hi, Christina. It's Emily. I know you don't want to talk at the moment, but I wanted to let you know I'm thinking of you. I know everything that's happened has been difficult, and I think you've got a long way to go in your therapy. Having a trauma like that can make you deny reality. To see your deeper feelings turn into monsters. The world isn't all like that. But I could understand why you'd feel that way. Having said all that, I really think you got through this because you're a good-hearted person. Some people might say you should protect yourself more. But I like you the way you are. I like that you're loyal. You're protective of your friends and that you're not afraid to show your emotions. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. You'll get a second ending and that's what we're about to see right now. Looks very similar to the denial ending. All right, I see you jogging. Look at that uplifting music. We good, we in there, we fighting, baby. Tears in my eyes. Cause this took forever to make. But we're good. And see something. Nobody! Hey, if you did this right, there will be nothing there. No Emily, nothing. We're good to go. This is the clear ending. Yes, sir. Because you'll notice that the music changes like this. Bah! Enlightenment. Yes! We've done it! I've been playing this game well over six hours to get all this. So if you are here, I love you. Thank you so much. Subscribe if you haven't. Strike a pose on that like button if you haven't. Thank you guys so much. It's been a ton of fun. This is A.O. Ronnie saying, subscribe now to join the A.O. fam. Strike a pose on that like button. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Bye. Perfect.
to bring you victory.